So with two spotted spider mites, one of the things to watch for right away as we move into the growing season, two things. One is our temperature and our moisture situation. Spider mites really get going when they, we have temperatures from about 28 degrees Celsius up to around 32 degrees Celsius, so hot weather. And coinciding with the hot weather is dry weather. Those two things together will, will create an environment for the spider mite to really do well. Soybeans as a crop can persist under fairly uh, high heat and drought, but once we combine that with a, with a uh, high spider mite population, our crop is really at risk. So one of the things to watch for, once we've watched the weather pattern develop, right away we should be scouting our fields and looking first around the perimeter. And what we'll see is these spots within the field that look like, I, I call them uh, dust off the road if you're on a back road, but, but where we've got soybean leaves that start to get uh, speckled and uh, they almost look dusty from the top, but we call it speckling. You'll see this develop around the uh, perimeter of the field bottom side down is where the mites are we give it a flick again we're just taking these leaves that we know there's mites here in these ones and uh, just in no time at all the paper is completely covered with spider mites two spotted spider mites the most prevalent one we have here in southern Ontario but that's well above threshold one of the threshold numbers that we talk about is 10 mites per leaflet if you're trying to look for a threshold or simply do we see the stippling, do we see the leaf uh, foliage of the soybean plant starting to turn to that dusty look so to speak. That again would indicate that you got enough mite pressure you want to take some corrective action. So we've identified the presence of the mites within the area. Well, one again is looking at what is our upcoming weather if we're going to, going to continue towards the hot and dry side. We definitely want to take some action. Let's assume that it's just around the perimeter of the field. One of the very first actions uh, with an insecticide application, we want to spray the perimeter of the field. We want to cut that, in, that insect pest off before it moves into the majority of the field itself. A perimeter spray works extremely well. This field a little different. They've moved from the perimeter now and, and they're in, moving into the interior. In this case, we're above threshold and we'll definitely look at spraying the whole field.